Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video series on Android app development. So guys, in this video series, I will be teaching you on how to create a tic-tac-toe with multiplayer uh, feature with uh, the help of TCP sockets in Android and Java. Okay. So guys, uh, you will also learn about how to create socket type applications and uh, two player uh, using sockets. Okay. So the player one will be of uh, in will be in android okay and the player 2 will be the java swing applications here you can see i have this led beans okay so we will be creating the uh, laptop um, player okay on this led beans okay and player 1 will be the android all right so we will be uh, communicating between them with the help of tcp sockets okay so let's get started so without wasting any time let's first of all i have this uh, the layout okay nine buttons we have so let's just change the text of the buttons all right let's remove the text of all the buttons here all right so now what we are we are going to do is we are going to our main activity and let's initialize our all our buttons b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 b6 b7 b8 and b9 all right and here we can say b1 equals to button find view id button one similarly i copy all the text and let's change it to b3 b4 5 6 7 8 9 all right so now we have these we have initialized the button so let's create the all the method for every button click so we can say public void button one click all right and let's also do it the same all right button one click button two click button e similarly four five six seven eight and nine all right so this will be this will be the player one so whenever player one enter any uh, click on any button here okay so it need to first of all check if it is uh, it's empty so we can check if b1 or get text or was empty okay if it's empty so he can okay so uh, i change it so we can say b1 dot set text why okay okay no we set it to t and f okay so t for uh, true and f for false so we set it to true and we then set enabled false okay so we just and uh, disable the button we will okay similarly we need to do this for same So here we can say B2 All right And here we say B3 B4 B5 
B6, B7, B8, and finally B9. All right, so let's uh, set the on click methods. On click button one, on click button two, on click button three, on click button four, on click button five, button six. Button seven, button eight, and button nine. All right, so now it's done, and also we need to check if uh, we if the three diagonals are T, okay, if this uh, one two three rt then it means that player have one has one or if one three, one four and seven rt then it means that it also and also one uh, five nine all right so let's do that so after every button click we need to check if player one win okay so let's copy alright and let's create the, the method and what this method will do so it will have some Okay, so it first of all we need to check if one, two, and three contains t. So we can check if d one dot get text dot two string dot equals t and b two dot get text. Sorry, dot equals t and b three dot get text dot two t then it means that player one has one all right else if we also need to check now if one four seven rt or not Okay, one, four, seven. All right, and it also means that player one has one. Also, we need to check if two, five, eight. All right, two. Five eight similarly three six and nine six and nine. All right, and also. We need to check if okay. We have done one, two, three, one, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. Also, we need to check if one, 
फाइव नाइन ओके वन फाइव नाइन ऑल्सो वी नीड टू चेक थ्री फाइव सेवन थ्री फाइव सेवन हाँ राइट ऑल्सो वी नीड टू चेक फोर फाइव सिक्स And also seven eight nine seven eight nine. All right. And after we print the message that declare one has one, we need to set all the values to default. Okay. So for that we can say even dot set text three dot set text before dot set text okay. nine. Alright guys, so we will continue it in our part 2 of the video. Okay, if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Goodbye.